Ever pondered the ubiquity of sand in our world? It graces our beaches, fills our hourglasses, and even forms the concrete underpinning our cities. Sand, a humble yet omnipresent substance, tells tales of time and geological processes spanning millennia. It silently whispers of erosion, weathering, and transformation, carrying within its grains the stories of our planet. To the untrained eye, sand may seem simple, even mundane, but beneath its granular surface lies a world of complexity and intrigue. Every single grain is a testament to nature's patient craftsmanship, a product of solid rock worn down through the relentless forces of wind, water, and ice. These minuscule particles, composed of minerals like quartz and feldspar, journey across the globe, carried by rivers, glaciers, and winds to finally settle in vast deposits. Consider the iconic sandy beaches, the golden shorelines that stretch across coastlines worldwide, offering us a place for leisure and relaxation. Each grain of sand under your feet is a piece of rock that has been battered by ocean waves, pulverized into finer grains, and washed ashore. But the journey of sand doesn't end here. Beyond its role in shaping the landscapes we adore, sand serves as a silent pillar of our civilization. It finds a place in the construction of our homes, the manufacturing of our technology, and in the hands of artists who see it as a canvas for their creativity. Sand, in its simplicity, holds a versatile utility that extends far beyond its natural state. But as we marvel at this ubiquitous substance, it's crucial to remember that it's not an infinite resource. The very processes that give birth to sand are under threat from human activities, raising questions about its future availability. Sand, in its ubiquity, is a reflection of the intricate workings of our planet. From its humble origins in rocky outcrops to its widespread applications in industry and art, it weaves itself into the fabric of our civilization. As we embark on this journey, we'll unravel the mysteries of sand, exploring its origins, its roles, and its global significance. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of sand. A granule of sand begins its journey as a solid rock. This may seem surprising, but each grain of sand carries a rich geological history within its minute form. Imagine a towering mountain or an expansive cliff face. These formidable structures, composed largely of rock, are the birthplaces of sand. Over time, these rocks are subjected to the unending forces of nature. The ceaseless battering of rain, the abrasive rush of wind, the relentless grind of glaciers. These elements of nature chip away at the rocks, breaking them down particle by particle. This process, known as physical weathering, transforms massive rock formations into smaller detritus. But the journey of a sand grain doesn't end there. Alongside physical weathering, chemical weathering plays a crucial role in the creation of sand. Certain rocks, when exposed to the elements, undergo chemical reactions that alter their composition. For instance, feldspar, a common mineral found in rocks, reacts with carbon dioxide and water in the air to form clay minerals. This weathering process further breaks down the rock, creating even finer particles. These tiny particles, often composed of quartz and feldspar, are then carried away by the elements that shape them. Rivers and streams transport these particles, a process known as erosion, and deposit them in various locations, a phenomenon called sedimentation. Over time, these deposits accumulate, giving birth to the sandy landscapes we see today, from towering cliffs to winding rivers, and finally to the soft, granular substance we know as sand. The journey of a sand grain is a testament to the power and patience of nature. And it's not just the deserts or the riverbanks that bear witness to this transformation. The golden shores we adore, those picturesque beaches that serve as our playgrounds and sanctuaries, are the result of millennia of Earth's relentless crafting. Sand is not just for building castles at the beach. It's a humble protagonist in a multitude of human endeavors, from construction and industry to artistry. Let's start with construction. Sand is a fundamental ingredient in the creation of concrete, mortar, and asphalt. Its tiny grains bind together and provide stability, solidity, and cohesion to the structures we build. From the towering skyscrapers piercing the sky to the intricate network of highways crisscrossing our landscapes, sand is the unsung hero, holding it all together. But sand's versatility goes beyond construction. It's a crucial player in the world of manufacturing. The production of glass, for instance, relies heavily on sand. When heated to high temperatures, sand melts into a liquid state, which can then be molded into all sorts of shapes before it cools and solidifies. That's how we get our windows, our glassware, even the screen you're probably looking at right now. Silicon chips, 
the heart of our modern electronics, also owe their existence to sand, specifically a type of sand rich in silicon. And let's not forget about sand's role as an abrasive material used in everything from sandpaper to industrial blasting. And then there's the artistry. Sand, with its malleability and ease of manipulation, is a favorite medium for artists. Sandcastle competitions, a beloved beach pastime, elevate the simple act of shoveling and sculpting sand into a form of entertainment and friendly rivalry. But that's just child's play compared to the intricate sand sculpture some artists create. With patience, skill, and a bit of water to hold the grains together, they shape sand into stunning, ephemeral works of art, only to be washed away by the next high tide. The grainy substance beneath your feet plays a vital role in shaping the world around us. It's not just a soft cushion for our beach towels or a gritty annoyance in our shoes. Sand, in all its gritty, granular glory, is a testament to the incredible versatility of nature's resources and the ingenuity of human application. Opening. The ubiquity of sand transcends borders. As we journey across the globe, we find vast landscapes dominated by sand, each telling its own unique story. Let's take a closer look at some of these sandy realms and the ecological significance they hold. The arid expanses of the Sahara Desert stretch across North Africa, a testament to nature's ability to sculpt landscapes. As the world's largest hot desert, the Sahara's dunes ripple endlessly across the horizon, shaped and reshaped by the whims of the wind. Its sands, while seemingly inhospitable, support a surprising array of life, from resilient plants to hardy animal species. Moving across continents, we find ourselves in the midst of the Arabian Desert, the Gobi Desert, and the deserts of Australia. Each of these vast sand seas tells a different tale of adaptation and survival of creatures and plants that have evolved to thrive in these harsh conditions. But sandscapes aren't confined to deserts alone. The world's coastlines from the Cape Cod National Seashore in the United States to the Whitehaven Beach in Australia showcase the diverse beauty of sandy shores these beaches, often seen as places of leisure and relaxation, serve a much greater purpose. They are vital ecosystems, supporting a myriad of plant and animal life, from the tiniest crustaceans to the most majestic sea turtles. Venturing further, we find the pristine ant source d'Argent in Seychelles. Its powdery sands and turquoise waters are a sight to behold, attracting tourists from around the world. But beyond its aesthetic appeal, this beach serves as an important nesting ground for several species of birds and sea turtles, highlighting the ecological importance of sandy landscapes. So, whether it's the rolling dunes of a desert or the gentle lapping of waves on a sandy shore, these landscapes are much more than just a collection of tiny grains. They're living, breathing ecosystems, each with its own set of inhabitants and ecological dynamics. Ending. From the Sahara to the coastlines of Seychelles, sand paints the canvas of our planet. However, sand is not an infinite resource. As we continue to extract it at an unprecedented rate, the environmental implications become ever more concerning. Unregulated sand mining, fueled by the relentless demand in construction and manufacturing, is a primary culprit. This rampant extraction has led to the degradation of habitats, impacting both flora and fauna, and causing the loss of biodiversity. Coastal areas, once graced with golden shores, now face the threat of erosion. The removal of sand disrupts the natural balance, leaving these regions vulnerable to the forces of the sea. Similarly, our rivers, the cradle of sand, pay a heavy price. The mining process can drastically alter their course, affect water quality, and disrupt the delicate ecosystems that thrive in these waterways. Our insatiable appetite for sand is reshaping the earth in ways we're just beginning to understand. As we tread further into this era, the balance of our actions and their consequences becomes a juggling act of survival. From simplicity springs complexity. And so we've come full circle in our exploration of the humble yet multifaceted world of sand. We've journeyed from its birth in the heart of rocky outcrops, sculpted by the ceaseless forces of wind, water, and ice, to its diverse applications in construction, industry, and artistry. We've crossed borders, from the vast expanses of the Sahara Desert to the pristine shores of Ants Source d'Argent, witnessing sand's global ubiquity. And we've confronted the environmental challenges it poses, the paradox of its abundance and its finite nature. Just as each grain of sand carries within it the story of its journey, so too does our understanding of sand embody the complexity of our relationship with the natural world. 
So the next time you step onto a sandy beach, remember, you're treading on grains of time, shaped by the forces of nature and woven into the fabric of our civilization.